I think it's really important for national human rights institutions to engage with the treaty bodies, like the Committee Against Torture, because they are made up of a group of experts. They don't necessarily have deep knowledge of the individual countries. And if their findings are to be useful, then they need to have credibility. And one of the things that National Human Rights Institution can do is to help them understand some of the complexities of the individual national situation and so that their recommendations don't simply come across as rather general um, or you know, missing uh, some of the specifics of a national situation. Well, the New Zealand Human Rights Commission, uh, in the lead up to the examination of New Zealand's report at the Committee Against Torture, did a number of things. The first thing is that we commented on the draft government report uh, before it was finalised. Then we provided not a full report of our own, but we took the issues that were identified by the Committee Against Torture, because this is its practice, and we updated the committee um, in relationship to those specific in issues that it had an interest in. This year, uh, I was able to attend the Committee Against Torture, and what that committee does is meet with civil society and with national human rights institutions separately, but in both cases privately, and the full committee meets prior to meeting with the government delegation. So I was able to discuss with the committee um, the issues that they had an interest in. I think the role of a national human rights institution is very much to provide the treaty bodies, like the Committee Against Torture, with authoritative, objective analysis and evidence. We're not the government, we're not civil society. We have a specific responsibility to assess the human rights status in our countries. And that is invaluable for a committee like the Committee Against Torture. Then I sat in on the examination, talked with the, and there was two sessions of that, talked with the New Zealand delegation in between in terms of how they were going to respond and what we as the Human Rights Commission saw as some of the issues that they needed to, to deal with. And then, um, at the end, uh, provided another written commentary to the Committee Against Torture about what we hoped would be the issues they put an emphasis on. Well, I think participating in the international human rights mechanisms is critical for really achieving change in a country like New Zealand because we can become very complacent and what the international treaty body monitoring does is give us standards, benchmarks against which to measure what's happening. From a national human rights point of view, what it can do is provide us with additional ammunition and evidence as to why government should take our recommendations seriously. Because if they're backed up by an international body of experts, that's a very strong statement.